In this video, I would like to introduce the topic of revenue and I will go through the three types of revenue that we must familiarize ourselves with. So let's start. The first one will be the most simple one to relate to is just the total revenue that a firm can get from selling its output. And that's going to be the product of the price and the quantity. So price times quantity gives us the total revenue that we incur in a given time period. Average revenue. How much revenue do we get on average per unit of sale? So that's going to be the total revenue that we collect divided by the total number of units sold and that's going to be price times quantity over quantity which is going to be just the price. So the average revenue will be the price. And finally when we get to talk the, about the marginal revenue this becomes a bit more interesting. So let's go through it. The marginal revenue is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity. Meaning what is the additional gain in total revenue when we sell one more unit. And in order to do that, I'm providing here an example below. So suppose the following, a company sells a product for an initial price of $10 per unit and it sells 10 units at that price level. So the total revenue initially is 10 times 10, which is $100. Now suppose that the company decides to lower the price in order to increase the revenue. The company thinks that consumers will buy many more units. So it lowers the price to $8 and now the company sells 20 units. As a result, the total revenue becomes 8 times 20, which is $160. Now the question is, what is the marginal revenue? So the marginal revenue, I'm computing it right now. The marginal revenue, let me make some space. The marginal revenue is going to be the change in total revenue, which is the difference between the second revenue and the first one, divided by the change in quantity, which is the difference between the quantity after the price changed and the initial quantity that the company was selling. TR2 over here is 160, so that's 160 minus TR1 is 100, so minus 100, divided by quantity over here it's 20, minus initial quantity used to be 10 minus 10. So that's going to be 60, 160 minus 160 divided by 20 minus 10 is 10, 60 over 10 is going to be 6. So the marginal revenue that the company is getting from changing this price is going to be $6. It increases its revenue by $6 after this price change. I hope this all makes sense. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.